Well, C-Dubs and I got to Rachel, and our goal was to do an alien head geocaching known as geocaching art. This is the completed project, and now I've done both the face and the spaceship. We saw a little wildlife out there. These flowers, and then this baby deer that we sort of spooked or just took off running. We saw his mother off in the distance and he ran to his mama. His mama was calling him. Well, C-Dub's journey and I left Rachel, Nevada this morning. We drove about 19 miles down the road. There's C-Dub's back there. And we're going to what's called the black mailbox. This is where you can mail letters and wishes and requests to the aliens. <laughs> Believe it or not. And I think there's a geocache around here, so we're going to check that out too. But that's it. That's it. That's the black mailbox. And, I don't know, people leaving food for the aliens and water. And here it is, all kinds of stuff in here. Here's a IPA, Atomic, bottle of water, cards, somebody put this in, flag. Here's a note. Please take us back with you. They're from the UK. All kinds of stuff in here. Let's see. Darling Earthling. I'm not promoting another channel. <laughs> Our friend Gray put something in here last year. Or maybe it was two years ago. I don't see it in here. Somebody put an empty can in here, a white claw. Shot a bullet through it. And then here we have a black rock painted with a, looks like a Modella can. Some other rocks. But that's what it is. The aliens have their own Mailbox and C Dub picked that up says a life on the road. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. See all the change down here? Padlocks. No, I didn't see the chain. Look at this. Somebody dropped through all their quarters. <laughs> Laundry money. Laundry money, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I think that was an accident. That doesn't look like it. was an accident. <laughs> it's alright, it's in my favor. <laughs> I got a dollar. Is that the bag of money you found? A, you a dollar, dreamed about? I hope not. I hope we got more than that. <laughs> oh, looks like a dollar and twelve cents, Dan. All right. Sweet. <laughs> we can maybe buy a Coke with that, right? <laughs> not out here. It's $4. What? Three dollars. Is two dollars cheaper than a beer? Yes. It's three dollars for a cola and five, five for, for a, a beer. beer. It's unbelievable. Yep. Y'all wouldn't believe what a an open face sandwich comes down here. If you don't want to cook because you're whooped from geocaching, yeah, you're gonna pay anywhere from eleven dollars all the way up to what twenty for a sandwich. Yep, yep. unbelievable. This is a true story. All right, you have now witnessed the black mailbox, also referred to as the mailbox for the aliens. Well, I said we're gonna get a geocache here. And they're in the black box, the mailbox. And it just so happens that there's four of them. So we signed all four. And they're all the same type of container. Container. So that's interesting. Well, we left the black mailbox. Uh, a friend of ours named Gray put a letter in there she put it on her Instagram page that's how we know about it uh, we went looking through we put every letter into a bag every piece of paper into a bag hey 
A, because they were blowing and uh, they were starting to get away from us. So that was the main reason. And then B, the reason we did that was just so that uh, we could make sure we didn't read the same one twice. And then we left the bag in there with all the papers, all the notes to the aliens for the simple reason that maybe the next person will take them out one by one and put them in the mailbox as they read them. Who knows? But anyway, it helped keep them a little more organized. And the note that Gray put in there wasn't there. So sorry, Gray, if you're watching. But we looked. We gave it our best shot. And yeah, c -Dub picked up the money. But if you're wondering, she put it back. We didn't, we didn't take it. We just counted it to see how much was there because curiosity killed the cat. And for a while, I was a suspect. Yes, that's whenever they were gonna invade Area 51. Not me, I didn't storm it. Look at the fingers, three per hand. c Dubs and I are here at the entrance to the ET Highway on 375 going north up towards Rachel. We came back the other way. There's the sign. It was taken down when everybody was going to storm the Area 51 and they now put it back up. They put it up high because there are a bunch of stickers covering it up. So it's up high so you can't get stickers on it, but people are putting them on the poles here. And an interesting one is Howling at the Moon, Yuma, Arizona. How about that? That's the sign. That's how high it is. Hey everyone, hope you're having fun. I am, and you should be too. Well, Rose and Betty were together again, having wine time. Betty said, Rose, why do you drink so much? I mean, you... You probably go through a bottle of wine every day. And Rose said, well, you see, it's like this. My body has a condition where it doesn't make alcohol, so I have to take a supplement. 